transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. What's that noise? Operator to 9S. Emergency transmission incoming. We've detected a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems to be accompanied by a large number of machine life forms. All Yorha members are ordered to engage at once. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low. But I hope you will, nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go.
Operator 210 here. Do you read me? Operator to 9S, I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first, we've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Two of them? Now the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. It's your R&D for you. Check your map data. Operator out. Thanks, Operator. 2B, Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. Flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. those flight units while we can. Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it, thanks.
target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. <laughs> Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine lifeforms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on... seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? What is this? Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. That's a weird-looking enemy.
is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This hallway looks pretty old. Machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. To be. Huh? Look! Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. You! To be! Look out! My name is Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you quite the pair? Perhaps we can discuss our current situation. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows, perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why that? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity, and now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, 
I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only... The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Two B, this is Operator Six O. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so... Here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um... Thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood.